Alright guys, so we're back here on training for the Kraken, and uh, what I want to do is I want to first tell you a little bit about the Kraken. Kraken is a CTR tool like no other, and I know that's kind of a large claim to make there, but uh, this tool allows you to design any type of campaign for any situation that you want, meaning that you get to control every bit of the traffic's journey to your website or from your website to your properties or from your properties. Meaning that you could send traffic through all your IFTTT networks, um, any type of citation out there, any type of videos, Twitter accounts, social profiles, uh, a post on Quora, you could have it go through Pinterest, you could have it go through any number of layers to your main website or start out at your main website, go through your social media accounts. It gives you complete control over your entire CTR, whereas right now, every other CTR tool out there, including my previous CTR tools of Viper, they were pretty much in the box. You had to stay in a box. You were not allowed to go outside of the box and create whatever you wanted to. And that's what I did with Kraken, is I've made it to where you can come in and like I said, you can customize anything that you want. And there's a lot of different options in here. So let's go ahead and set up a new campaign. So I'm just going to do create campaign. We're going to name this uh, Galv uh, News. Okay. Category uh, News. Pretty soon you'll be able to choose category, save categories, the whole nine yards. But at the moment, uh, that feature is not available as of right now. So let's say I want to send in uh, 50 searches for this. I'm going to hit next. I'm going to choose mobile. Uh, for this today, I'm not going to do a scheduler. I'm just going to show um, how this works. So we'll do next here. And now we have a couple of different options here. There's two different ways that we can send traffic in to this Galveston website. And I pre-chose this website down in Texas. I just typed in news and, uh, you know, just wanted to find some local news down in Texas. And this is what it pulled up, uh, the daily news right here. So there's a couple of articles and different things like that on the site. So there's two different ways that we could do this. We could go to, uh, let's see here, Google, and we could do a Google search if I wanted to. And I could say, okay, I want it to find this URL. I want it to search the first five pages of Google. And I want the keyword to be, uh, let's say, Dear Abby. Okay, Dear Abby post. And I could hit add here. I could also do a Galveston, uh, Texas newspaper. Okay, we could do that. We could do uh, the name of this right here, Galv News. If we wanted to search out a brand name, we could do three keywords there. However many keywords you want, you can have up to 25. Uh, and we're gonna name this uh, main search. Okay, so we're going to hit save. Command added right here. Okay, main search, Google. We could come in, click edit. We could edit it. We could add more things to it, whatever we want. All right, let's go back here and show you on the browser. There is another search here called direct link search. And if you were to choose this one, you would bypass the Google search, meaning that you would send traffic directly to a particular URL. And you could do that with, say, a Twitter link right here. So this is off the Galveston News, the Daily News here. This is a Dear Abby Twitter account. So if I wanted to, I could drop this URL in, and that's if we didn't have the Google search set up, and I could drop that in and hit save, and boom, it would do a direct browser search. But I'm not going to do that. I'm going to leave it as the main Google search. Okay, so let's say that it does that Google search and it finds our website, right? The Galveston News right here. Okay, so it finds Galveston News. Now, what I could do is once it's found Galveston News on here, I could go in and say, okay, once it's on here, I want it to read on the website. Now, when you say read on website, what this is going to actually do is scroll down through here just on this page it's not going to go anywhere else it's going to scroll it's going to move the mouse around it's going to look like a person that's reading it 
right? So it's going to be just like this, kind of slow. It will scroll back up like it's looking at something. Uh, it will hover here. It depends on how long you choose to have it on here. And the way that you choose it is you go back over to browser and you say wait. So let's say that we send in that search and we want it to read on the website and we want it to wait for two minutes. Okay. So we do the main search. Once it lands on the site, let's drag that up here. We'll say, okay, we want it to wait for two minutes. We want it to read on this website here. Okay, let's actually do that. Read on the website, wait two minutes. And once it's on here, what I'd like to do is also have it do a screenshot. I'd like it to screenshot it like it found something interesting, right? Because we have a wait in two minutes. In that two minutes wait time, I want it to screenshot it from a mobile phone so it will give that signal to Google of, hey, this person found this site really interesting and they want to uh, save it right there. Okay. And also, I would like to do a refresh just for kicks and giggles. Now, if you notice this right here, I made a fatal mistake when I set this up. This is something that you need to make sure that you do. It's, it's quick and eager to come in here and set up a campaign and not realize that you totally foobarred. So when you first set up your commands here, you want to go into browser. And the first thing you want to do is you want to do change location. So we're going to do a Texas local search. Okay. And from this Texas local search here, we're going to do Galveston, Texas. Okay, let's do search. All right, here we go, Galveston, Texas. I'm gonna do a control uh, zoom here so I can zoom in on this particular property. And let's see, okay. So I'm just gonna copy this right here and I'm gonna drop the coordinates in here, boom, just like that. Now, if you have another particular area that you want to go, you can drop in the full address and search for it and have it come out of there. You can add in multiple locations here. We're getting ready to add a radius in that allows you to put a radius button in, but at the moment we don't have that feature. So let's say that you wanted to target Galveston Beach. Okay, you could click anywhere in here. You could really zoom in and say, okay, let's do this uh, area right here and copy that just like that scroll back on out scroll on down and what we'll do is we'll add in another location so you can really really drive your traffic down and it will pull randomly from these different locations here and like I said in the future we will have that radius button coming out but this is something you definitely want to make sure that you add in there first because it is so simple to miss you saw how quickly I got right into the campaign I set this up and I didn't change my browser. So the first thing that you want to do is drag and drop that back up here and you have the Texas local search and then you have the main search come in. So you want to make sure that you change your location to the area that you're targeting. Okay, then you have your main search, read on website, wait, screenshot, refresh browser. And from here now we're going to tell it we would like it to go to say this Twitter account right here. So I'm going to copy that. Here. We want to drop that in. Okay, so it's going to find that link and it's going to follow it. Once it's on that Twitter, I want it to then look for this tweet link right here. So I'm going to copy that link address, which you can see down there in the bottom left hand side. And it's going to look for that shortened link. Okay. And from this, I'm going to do another find and follow link. And I'm going to have it go here. Okay, hit save. All right. So we have it finding Twitter account, then we have it finding that link. And that link brings you to this URL right here. Okay, so we've got this URL. And unfortunately, they've got a stupid subscription thing. So it stops you from coming in. But let's say that we didn't have that crap and it had the full article here for the Dear Abby, right? And so from this, we want it to. Uh, read on the website and then we want to go back we want to hit browser we want it to wait and read for about uh, 
let's say two minutes okay all right so we're doing waiting on that uh, if you wanted to you could have a screenshot that page but I don't think that's necessary at this moment uh, what we'll do is we'll hit the back here and so we're now on this page all right so we could click on here if there, if there was another link in here we could click on another link or we could send it back to the main page we could have it go to say a subscribe today link right here right sign up or something like that to show interest that uh, you know send it to your contact this page or however you would like this traffic to go but you could do this okay we want to find that link right there so we're going to go back and we're going to say on website we want it to find and follow this link okay and that's the very end of it because now we've got our journey so it does first thing that it does here is it changes our location okay so it changes our location then it does the main search in Google it reads on the site it waits for two minutes it takes a screenshot it refreshes the browser it finds and follows a Twitter link goes to the Twitter it finds and follows the tweet comes back to the website it reads on the website it spends two minutes there right so it finds uh, so it waits two minutes reads on the website and then it finds and follows the sign up page right so it does a sign up page next things next we hit next okay it gives us the total for our credit 71 credits for this campaign uh, number of views I need to have them update this so still waiting on credit updates but at the moment credits are not being charged on the crack and just an FYI uh, but when they do we'll have this fixed to where it's doing a hundred views for one credit so that should really be one credit um, total for that cost okay so we hit done boom okay now we've got this campaign set up to run you can see when we ran it what time it was and uh, it's running right now it's under news Galveston news I can click on this campaign and it will give me all sorts of information it's going to be an all-day 24-hour run uh, number of daily views number of weekly runs number of uh, daily runs completed number of runs completed total uh, campaign end date when does it end it ends today so it's going to send in 50 of those searches today okay using a mobile platform you could see the campaign traffic here when it starts to send in uh, the screenshot gallery will show the screenshots here campaign monitoring this is coming in the future to where you can see where your campaign is at any given time you can come in here to the commands and you can edit them if you need to if you need to update your commands and change it you can come in here and say okay I need to change this and you could change it right um, click on main search wait the wait time etc so there's a lot of different options in here and uh, there's a lot of things you can do and that's just showing one campaign that's not showing everything that you can do uh, let's go back to campaigns here and we'll do create campaign and uh, I'm just going to go through here and just show you okay next next okay so browsers change location screenshots refresh uh, on the website read on website follow link watch embedded video you can send traffic into YouTube any type of uh, YouTube searches here uh, rumble you could send it through rumble Vimeo Twitter tumblr reddit Pinterest Quora see Quora right here leave a comment uh, Pinterest search for a pen pen something Amazon you can go to the s3 find, find and follow a link on s3 podcast now you can rank podcast in Google and this is what the Kraken will do so you can do podcast and we'll go into that and I'll do a separate training just on podcast there is a common feature called live audience and basically what this does is if you're doing a live video like a twitch or a YouTube or rumble or a Facebook live or something of that nature and you're wanting to make yourself look really popular like the paparazzi showed up you can do live audience and send in hundreds of views hundreds of real viewers to watch you at any given time and it will make it look like you've got you know say 300 500 people watching your YouTube account 
So if you've got a big client and you want to impress them with your skills, you could do live audience and uh, it will just pump up your live video and make it look like there's a lot of people there. So that's going to be a really cool feature. So there's a lot of different things in here. I'll see you in the next video. I don't want to go too long.